Hey guys, what's up? This is JRP Sunson from J Team Games. In this tutorial, we are going to be making a main menu and also concluding this series as it is. So basically, what we've done this series, we've made a very basic game. So if I go ahead and play it, you can see that I can walk up to enemies and kill them by clicking on my left mouse, and that increases the score by 10. And that's what we've made in the past tutorials. And if I start running into these enemies, you'll notice that my health bar at the bottom starts to go down. So that's basically what we've been doing for the past couple episodes. But now it's time to conclude this series and make a main menu. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go to our scenes folder and I'm going to right click and I'm going to go create scene and we're going to call this menu. Now, well, there's actually a pretty cool trick you can do in 5.6 and later, and that is load multiple scenes at once. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this scene and drag it into the hierarchy, and you'll notice it acts like an object. The reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to duplicate some of the objects in here to make a background for our main menu. So I'm going to duplicate the enemy by hitting Control D, and then I'm just going to drag it down here. And then I'm going to go up to the first cube, which is our environment, which is this, this green floor, and I'm going to duplicate it, and I'm going to move it down to here. So now I can save both of these scenes and I can unload the main scene by right clicking and click unload scene and now we are good to go. So I'm going to click on the enemy and I'm going to move him over here closer to the camera, maybe like this, just so that we have a background. And now let's go ahead and use the UI. So I'm going to go game object, UI, text. So on here, I'm just going to name it something random like my dang game. This is just going to be a placeholder and you can name this whatever you want. Now I'm going to change the font size to about 75. And then you'll notice it goes away. So we're going to go to alignment and set to middle on both of these again. And then we're going to horizontal overflow, change to overflow, vertical overflow to overflow. And then we're going to click on this square up here and we're going to hold shift and alt, put it at the top left hand corner of the screen. You'll notice that it does this and that's a bit weird. So what we're going to do is we're just going to move it off to the side so that we know that it looks like that. And we're just going to move it down by dragging the text right here so that we can see it. Now I've got that, I'm going to change the color to white just so that we can see it a little bit better. And let's go ahead and add our buttons. So I'm going to go game object, UI, button. So I'm going to click on the square and I'm going to hold shift and alt, put it at the bottom left hand corner and I'm going to raise it up about 150. I'm going to move it over about 30 so that it's off from the border. And then I'm going to open up the button and I'm going to go to text and I'm just going to change it to play game. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to scale this button up to 1.5 by 1.5 and you'll notice the text gets a little bit wonky and that's just because of the font that's been used here. Then I'm going to duplicate this object and I'm going to move it down to about right there and I'm going to change the text on this one to quit game. This is going to be our quit button. So now that we got that, let's go ahead and write our script for this. So first of all, we need to create a basic object that this will sit on so that we don't have to put it on a main camera or a light or something like that. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to create an empty game object and I'm going to rename it to underscore GM. This is just going to be our game manager object and it's just simple. So now I'm going to click on here and I'm going to go add component and I'm going to type in main menu and we'll click new script and I'm going to make sure it's a C sharp script and I'm going to hit create and add. I should put this inside of our assets folder. So I'm just going to drag that to custom and then from custom to scripts. Now I can go ahead and open this in Visual Studio and we can delete everything in here. First of all, we need to add one thing to the using statements. We need to add using unity engine dot scene management. This is the new version of scene management that came with one of the newer updates. It used to be that you could do application.load level and that would work, but now it's starting to use scene management because it's much more efficient. So we're just going to create inside of here a public void and we're going to call this switch. And then inside of the parentheses, I'm just going to write string level name. It is important that this is a public void because this will allow us to use it on a button. Then inside of here, we're just going to say scene manager dot load scene parentheses level name just like that that's all we have to do but now we have to make our quit function so i'm going to go down i'm going to create another public void call this quit and inside here i'm just going to write application dot quit now you may have just heard me say that the class of application is out of date because now we're using scene manager to load scenes that's not entirely true application still can handle stuff like quitting the game and force quitting it and stuff like that so we're just going to keep using it like this, but we're not going to be actually using it for loading scenes anymore. So I'm going to save this script and I'm going to hop back into Unity and then I'm going to click on the underscore GM object. You'll notice that there's no variables. Now we can go to our button and if we scroll down, you'll see we have on click. So I can click on this right here and I'm going to change it to runtime and editor for the time being. I'm going to click on the object underscore GM. We're going to go to function main menu 
switch. And now you'll notice we have a text field right here. I'm just gonna type in main because that's what we named our scene. Then I'm gonna go to the second button and I'm gonna go to the same place, do runtime and editor, go to the same object, go function, main menu, quit. That's all we have to do. This script is already done. So now we're just gonna put them in what's called our build settings so this can be our final product. So I'm gonna hit shift control B to open up our build settings and then in here, you'll see we have add open scenes. So I'm just gonna click on this and you'll notice that it loads into two scenes that we had in our hierarchy. So now I can just drag the menu on top of the main. This is going to be the first scene that loads and then the main is gonna be the next scene that we actually run. So because I want this to work, I'm gonna click a build and I'm gonna put this on my desktop. I'm just gonna call this my dank game. Hit save and it's gonna start building it to our desktop so that we can play this later. So right now, all it's doing is it's just packaging it into a .exe file so that we can actually run this on our desktop. So we're just gonna wait for this to finish. And now that it's done, you'll notice that it puts a new .exe file on our desktop. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna minimize Unity and then I'm gonna minimize Visual Studio. And I'm just gonna go and you'll notice that it's sitting here, right here on our desktop. So I'm gonna double click to open this. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave all these settings the same and I'm gonna make sure that I set it to display one because that's my main display. I'm gonna play and you'll notice that it fills the entire screen with a nice made with Unity thing. And here our game is. So I can just click play game. And now we're into our game and I'm gonna scroll up once so that I get the bow. And you'll notice that we get 10 health and I can move around and I can hit that guy twice and then I can hit this guy a bunch, 30 score, and I can run up to this guy. I can take a bit of damage and then I can click a budge and we're at 40 score. So you may be wondering right now, how'd I close out of the game? Well, basically I just hit control, delete, went to my task manager and killed it from there because I didn't put a button into our main scene that would allow us to do that. Just to quit the game wherever we were. So that's basically all there is to this tutorial series, but I wanna know what you guys think. What do you guys think of this Make a Game series in general? Let me know in the comments below. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this. I hope you guys like this tutorial series a ton. I really enjoyed working on this one. If this video sucked, you know what to do, but if it didn't, drop a like and don't forget to subscribe for more content. Don't forget to check out our website, social media, and merch, as well as our community Discord server. All those links will be in the description below. Thanks for watching this series, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.